What up, y'all? Humble Among here with some clips from the Palcast pool party number two. This first clip is uh, Renee asking Shaggy about a project that he might be working on with DJ Clay. Okay. Oh, you can. <laughs> oh, okay. Another rumor I've been hearing is there may be some Shaggy Two Dope DJ Clay works in the near future you know i've been hearing a few things here and there we've been talking okay. about a few things here and there. okay next we have a clip of dj clay eating spam and shaggy talking a little bit about his day at the gathering of the juggalos kuma uh brings up egyptian lover and uh shaggy talks a little bit about uh the four elements of hip-hop and how he wanted all of the four elements to be represented on his day i call the the executioners Future King set a hip hop extravaganza or some flowery language like that. Yeah, watch this clip. Dog. You know who I'm really excited for at the gathering, and I think people are gonna really like is Egyptian Lover. <laughs> Yo, it's, come on, dog. It's gonna be so good. That was the first motherfucker on my list. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's I was like so good. Cause my my night, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to do the four elements of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how good it came through. You know what I'm saying? He, he's so good. He plays like the 808 live. It's yeah. Fucking phenomenal. So yeah. So so, so uh, and then and then and so yeah. So uh, that was the first motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That I even got down on. It, it, that I even wanted to book, you know what I'm saying? So I want to do the four elements of hip hop because I mean I'm well versed on pretty much all music. You know what I'm saying? But did you throw up? <laughs> He's got the whole goddamn thing. Does what he have there? to eat that whole thing? Uh, but, yeah, I forgot what I was saying, so that's cool. The four elements of hip -hop? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So I want to have, like, a graffiti. No you know, fan? incorporate that in. Yeah. Good thing it's past 10 minutes. Oh, or he'd be fucked up. Uh, so I want to incorporate that. And then I got uh, uh, Breakdance incorporated in the Executioner set, so, which is DJing. So how many how many of the Executioners are coming? All of them? Is it the whole crew? No, no. One one is, I forget which one is substituting out, but he's getting substituted by the fucking large professor. Oh. Who did what? Oh, shit. Yeah, fucking Illmatic. He Illmatic. Did, pretty much did yeah, Illmatic, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I'm like telling motherfuckers, I'm like, yo, that's large crazy. professor's sitting in. Everybody's like, okay. I'm like, you, don't, you must not know who the fucking large professor is. You know what right. I'm saying? Right, exactly. So get the fuck out of here. It's real dope. Yeah. That's fucking fresh. What? In this next clip, Shaggy's asked about the Inner City Posse show from last year and uh, what are the chances of that makeup show happening? Howdy, pals. I was late to the pal party working overtime, but I made it. Last guy, Jay, we got the bone. Will there be any Inner City Posse redo show anytime soon? No. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. Anything's possible yeah. in the future. With this the, one, no, it's not going to happen. The possibility. What? All right, in these uh, next series of clips, we're going to get Shaggy 2 Dope lighting up at the idea of ostrich anus. It's no pig nuts, but I'll take it. By the way, watch how excited Shaggy gets bringing up uh, ostrich naughty bits. <laughs> uh, that's the city? Is a scrotum? <laughs> scrotum? A scrotum. Uh, uh, scrotum. Ostrich scrotum. scrotum. The ostrich got scrotum. No, he probably got a bird hole. Dude. Holy shit. We you got to Google that, Josh. Does the ostrich got the bird hole or the corkscrew boy? That is a good question. Oh, we might not have the capability. I got a cool right here on my phone. Yeah, corkscrew boy. Look, no, for some reason, like, ducks and shit got corkscrew yeah, penises. Spinny. But, like, Spinny. little birds just got one hole that does everything. Yeah. Fox and everything. Cloca? Cloca. Cloca. All right, wait. Uh... Cloca hole. Does Astros got a cloca bird hole? That doesn't make Corkscrew sense. Corkscrew boys. A quaker bird hole. But sometimes when those ducks be floating and their dicks be hanging <laughs> so, down, dude, they're fucking uh, like long. It looks like what's inside of an egg roll. Does the like ostrich got a cloca? <laughs> there it goes. For some birds, such as ostriches, cassowaries, kiwi geese, and some pieces of swans, ducks, the males do not have the cloca for reproduction. <laughs> But have a phallus, which is a dick. Did you guys get 70% of those words? I got 80. All right. So. 85. <laughs> which kind of crushes some of the shit that we was talking about. Because yeah. we, were talking, we were talking, remember we were like some like the fucking ducks and, and, and geeses and shit. Yeah. They, they got the corkscrew boys. They got corkscrew dicks. They're fucking weird looking. Oh, we looked one up. A what? No. <laughs> Whoa. I have some more questions to ask. A corkscrew dick person? Who's the next person on your list at the Pelcast? Ray? Ray's Oh. At this point, the conversation nearly drifts away from ostrich wang doodles, but Shaggy Two Dope steers it right back in that direction. They give it an oil. Chip. So, so ostriches got the. Oh, I'm, I wanna. I kind of wanna see what the ostrich dick look, looks like. Google it. I don't think it'd be wrong to look up. Yeah. So if we hear that in a song, brother, we know where you got it from. 
All right, I'm just saying. Uh-huh. Y'all hear you, Jordan, right? If we, yeah, if we okay. hear you rapping about that in the song. We know you got it from about from, from, from Look, the Pelcast over here, brother. Dude, Look, what the fuck? I do my research. <laughs> I already know you all this. A, well, hold on, we got we got, got it written down in the notebook. We're not, we're not. You know it's mean? their show. Hold on, you guys done? We're looking at ostrich dicks over here. I'm listening. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Hey, I got a question for Jordan. You got to see these dicks. Hold on, hold on real quick. Qu- right. Question for Jordan. Do okay. you write your rhymes? That's a good question. Do you write your rhymes on your phone or on a notepad? Look, you know, I actually at first on a notepad, but <laughs> it just became more convenient. To <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's looking at ostrich ostrich dick. I know. This. I know. But now on my phone because it's more convenient. Okay. Because you can save it and yeah. edit and all that? Just okay. in my pocket. You know what I mean? Got you. Got yeah. you. I've, what in the fuck is, is it, going yeah, on? Yeah, you ever see that? You ever see that? That's, <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. Weird. You can show the camera. Show the camera. <laughs> Here Shaggy attempts to show uh, the ostrich uh, naughty parts to the camera. Uh, I've cut that out for your pleasure. Wow. Guys, we, oh, you at home, we want to make sure you guys see the nature as well. <laughs> it's like a little mouth. You know those like fucking turtles that'll fucking really take your fingers off? That's what its butthole and its penis together looks like. It looks like a fucking one of those scary turtles. <laughs> I don't know. It, it looks like <laughs> this. We shaggy tooth. Now, this is not a shirt what lick? It looks what like lick is coming up out milk. of that hole. And here again, I've also cut this out. Points. That's weird. Put that on a fucking shirt or what? That might be. That might be a good seller. The hairless boy. Port. I'm gonna screenshot this just in case. No, we right. need to put out any of our branding on it. And no, we don't have boy. I just say Pals 22. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next here, uh, Shaggy's about to take the conversation in a drastically different uh, direction, but an interesting one nonetheless. But nobody here knew what that looked like before, you know what I'm saying? So don't even act like you did. Like, I mean, new every exactly. Day. That's the point of this fucking podcast. I, uh, We're getting schooled. Hey, is anybody here fucking watch the Disney movie, the old school one, Peter Pan, before? Okay, this next clip's a little bit longer, but I wanted to show it in its entirety to get to uh, the clip at the end that I think is really funny. What Shaggy ta- is talking about here is a little bit about uh, Disney Plus and how uh, they've apparently started putting these content warnings before sensitive material, quote unquote, stuff like Peter Pan that he's about to talk about here. From my understanding, when Disney Plus first launched, they were editing out certain sensitive materials like the uh, Native American Indian scene. Fan. Fun fact! Uh, in Peter Pan that he's about to talk about. So I find it interesting that they've uh, replaced that editing model with uh, a warning model. Anyway, that's on some nerdy shit that probably only I find interesting. But I wanted to include it here nonetheless. But this is a long way to get to the end, which uh, I find really funny. Yeah. I'm, I've never seen it cartoon. until fucking, I think last night <clears throat> or the night before. The old school. Yeah, yeah. Cartoon. Yeah, the normal fucking Disney, yeah, yeah, Peter yeah, yeah. Pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the mascot of Disney, Tinkerbell, it's the fucking murderer. <laughs> I'm straight up proud of it, murderer. She tried murdering that Wendy bitch. Yep. Like, tried murdering her. And then they were like, oh, yeah, she tried murdering her. She was like, <laughs> she's like, yep, I tried murdering her. And then a couple people were murderers in that, like, really trying to kill children. It was insane. Peter Pan. Good movie, Bruce, right? So, yeah. Yeah. And you should hear the uh, fucking what they say about the fucking Native Americans in that fucking movie. Holy shit. It's pretty wild. They call I them, can't remember the cartoon. They call them every fucking racist Indian name you possibly can think of. Wow, really? But you know what? I'll give I'll give props to Disney because like they didn't take it all off like Tom and Jerry started doing with that lady's legs and shit and changing okay. the voice and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? But they do put at the beginning of movies, uh, this was filmed in a different time. Oh, they, they do put a disclaimer. disclaimer now? Oh, they do, yeah. Okay, wow. Because damn, that. there's some racist ass shit. Old school Disney. It was just everything was racist back then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Disney wow, was I... particularly way more ever... racist and huge, so you yeah. saw it all over. You know. Did you ever see the like the uh, fucking crows and, and Dumbo? Holy shit! Did you ever see the Song of the South? I don't know what the fuck that is. That was like what, uh, <clears throat> that they pulled that like in the '80s because it was so racist. It was a Disney right. movie. Yeah. Uh, with. Like, uh, what was it too unracist in the 80s? Brer well, Rabbit, Brer, Brer Fr- Rabbit. I remember yeah. that motherfucker. Yeah, they be running over some pickle bushes shit. or something. It was so racist. They Brer pulled- Rabbit, that shit was racist. Yeah, I don't, I just remember some yeah. rabbit yeah. when I was a kid. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta look that up. Yep, 
in here, I'm only jumping in again just because I think it's funnier if there's a little bit of space before this next clip. All right, enjoy. Bernstein Bears, they were racist. Were they? They were the first family of law. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh! The Bernstein oh, family. Fun fact! In this next clip, Keegan announces a new streaming schedule for the Palcast. Gentlemen. Yes! From now on, the Palcast will be moved to Fridays. Ow! And the Twitch streams will be moved to Tuesdays. Why, you ask? Because we can. Because just to shake it the fuck up. We've been <laughs> doing this for over two years. Can we mix it up? Can we shake it like a little baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Whoa. maybe an all new studio. Whoa. Next week. Whoa. All new coming location soon. coming up. Coming, coming soon. soon. We will maybe see. as soon as next week. We don't know yet. We don't know. But it's going down. And a couple more interesting ones, uh, homie-related ones. Uh, this first one, uh, Wukanda gets a shout-out by Manny for the Talks Hit promo contest. Go to the Talks Hit YouTube page and vote for Wukanda to win the uh, the, the ticket here. I'm going to include this as well. <laughs> but we also got something Owls! on, on uh, Talks Hit. And check it out. We got down to the four best promos that are out. They came out Wednesday. Voting has already started. You got Goon the Goon, you got Jacob Lamb, you got the king of Whoop Conda, and you also have Miss Hollywood. Those are the four that you can choose from. You can vote every day, once a day, up until Tuesday night. Then we announce the winner that Wednesday morning, next Wednesday at 12 o'clock, and the winner gets what? A what? ticket what? to the hey. this year's gathering of the Juggalos, the gathering of dreams. It will be your dream. And finally, we got Gather.network, Stony Low, promoting the interview that we did with Tom Putnam of United States of Insanity. All right. Gather Network uh, said, just did an interview with Tom Putnam, the director of y'all's movie, United States of Insanity. Ooh. Thank y'all for marching with Juggalos. Much clown love. Well, thank you. Um, Hell yeah. Actually, the, the good part, that wasn't even our movie. We had nothing to do with that, which was why it was so much fucking more awesome, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't our movie. It was Tom Putnam's movie and his crew. And what a good movie it was. Speaking of the boys. And that were the clips that I found interesting or amusing from Palcast 121, the second Palcast pool party. Uh, should I do more of these? Do you find it interesting? Do you find it funny? Do you find it boring? Do you find it annoying? Let me know in the comments. Should I go back to Palcast number one and search for all the Pignut references? Uh, all the time Shaggy told the story of going to the fair to look at Pignuts. Should I find them all? Oh, you at home, we want to make sure you guys see the nature as well. Should I go even further back and do all of the Patreon streams in this format? Let me know in the comments. Uh, whoop whoop, like this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Humble Among Broadcast System is returning soon. The hiatus is almost over. Let me know if you've liked these shorter form videos, if I should keep doing them. Uh, whoop whoop. Have a good night. I love you. Peace. Bernstein Bears, they're racist.